Welcome to Austin. We got a routine traffic stop. Not routine because they got the man detained on the side of the vehicle. Not routine for him. We're here to keep you safe from him. Yeah, I'm just going to watch him to make sure he doesn't do anything illegal, right? We have bacon. Do they? We have bacon. Oh, wow, that's appropriate. We have bacon. Mm. In a number 1412. Getting the breathalyzer out. Here's Mike. Blue hair out of Portland. Nice camera. Hi. Cute dogs. What? Where, where do you want me how, to go? How far would you like us to go? Just give me a boundary to st stand out and I'll go stand there for you. Up the side, up the side of that street. Full. That's too That's far. That's too far, but I'll go that way. Right, That's you. what I'm ordering you to do. Up the side of that street. Go ahead and call a sergeant. We might need one. Yeah, I'd like up to speak with a supervisor, street. please. Bull. Call me a supervisor on We're here exercising our First Amendment rights. So are you I'm clear with that? But I'm done. You can't sit there right there while I'm on the track. And I'm walking away. Can't you see my feet moving, officer? Get a supervisor. Now. I would like to speak with a supervisor, please. You're a lot more polite than I am. I don't like being yelled at. Right. Scared of a camera. The coward bully. We got unit number one seven nine six. That's not a sergeant. We have bacon. We have bacon. We have bacon. Full on bacon. Uh, I'm going to stand up. My knee is messed up though. What'd they do with the man? What'd they do with the man? Oh, he's still there. Uh, I can sit right here on this thing if I want. So, I'm sitting up here on the Hudson Meat Company uh, thing. And he's worried about us. Telling us we have to cross the street while other people go by. What a jackass terrorist. See, this is what's wrong. This is where America goes wrong. This is where the America going wrong hits the ground. When the terrorists put on uniforms, that's when you got a problem. Oh yeah, I work across the street, by the way. I've been out here for three years gardening. And the police come and eat at my restaurant. We were just leaning against the wall with our cameras in hand. I think he's just doing a ticket. Looks like this a ticket.
I think he's going to call for backup. What do you think? He already called for backup and now he's agitated. I hope this child doesn't agitate him also. Watch your kids. Cops are agitated. Okay, here we go. Unit number 1494. There's going to be more cops up here in a minute. And I am. I'll get ID, but I don't have an ID. We're about. How far do you think we are? Forty feet. And I'm limping, so I can't move that fast. I think I'm not a threat. My camera, however, is very threatening. Right. That's the issue. The, the issue, Julian, is the fact that we're sort of here. Right. The little child in the stroller. Yeah. Threatening. Right. Yeah. That guy have that guy a sergeant. Here comes another one. Is that guy a sergeant? Just jumped the curb. Unit 3217, unit 1796, unit 1412, and unit 1494. And all they care about is us. You ready? Alright. I could use a couple more cameras right now to increase the threat level. These officers didn't get the memo about the First Amendment. They want to be sued. I hope they engage us. Personally, I'm a little upset that they were so aggressive, but that one officer was so aggressive. His unit number is 1412. What's your ID? What's your ID? I'm not asking you any questions. I'm not interacting with you. I'm you I'm leaving. What is your ID? What is your name and ID? Hall, 4979. Hoff? Hall. Hall. Okay. 4979. I don't want any animosity. I'm just trying to say I'm not trying to get in your way. You need to learn about the First Amendment, sir. I invite you to violate the First Amendment. Good. Don't do it again. You don't know who I am, apparently. You don't know who anybody you know, is. I wasn't trying to even be hostile with him. Like, I, I was trying... He was yelling. He right. started yelling. That's, you can either be a sheep he's angry, or not. You know? Yeah. And I don't know why he's angry. Cause, like, he's not angry at that girl. He's not angry at the child in the stroller. He, he just called five cops on us for, like, filming him with the traffic ticket. It's a I traffic ticket. Out. Oh yeah, let's get it. Because I want to speak with him. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. He'll so, be on the way. Yeah. I'm going to be signing off for filming the police department, but I will stand on this corner for a while and see the sewer. I'm not going to wait too long because that cop might be full of shit, but yeah. Unit 1494. What might be. What was his name again? Hall. Officer Hall. And his uh, badge number was? On my phone. Okay, I think that's it said, I, I, think, I think it was uh, 1494, right? Uh, that's that unit right there, on oh, the side yeah. of the car. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's the last thing I called out. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Film each other. Yay, smile, smile, Mike. Hey, man, what's going on? I say the first, something about the First Amendment. Well, 
you know, we do have a First Amendment right to observe, and if you can pan over there, like, there's just a constant influx of people walking by. It's Congress. Yeah, not not being uh, yelled at, you know, yeah. or perceived as a threat. Yeah. And really, I mean, what, look, look, pan your cam camera at my cam camera so you can see. I'm standing here holding this with both hands. Whoa. So, you know, the officer obviously... With the press pass. Yeah, but the press pass. The officer obviously knows that I'm filming, you know, and he asked... Asked us to go way down here and across the street. Go across the street. We Take off. We wouldn't go that far because it's, it's unreasonable and I couldn't see what's going on. So it would have been infringing my First Amendment right if I went way down there on the other side of the street because I couldn't even see what was going on. So, you know, don't tread on me and whatnot. But I, I wanted to make it clear to the officer that it wasn't my intention to interfere at all. Yeah. Because it's not and it never is. Interference. You know? I what is interference under the law? Haven't, didn't the court say that you actually had to touch an officer to interfere? That you is verbal. You actually have to physically uh, get involved. Get involved somehow is my understanding of the Texas Penal Code. But I'm from Oregon. I'm a cop watcher from Oregon, so I really don't know a whole lot about the law here. I know that guy on the horse. Right. He had a DWI on horseback that the chief uh, helped him get out of. He talked to the court for the chief. I mean, chief type. So he told me leave the chief of police alone because he's a good guy because he got him off the DWI. So just this dog thing, don't worry about it because he's cool. Yeah, I had a gut reaction, immediate gut reaction to being told to go somewhere far, far away. Um, it's unreasonable. When, yeah, it was unreasonable, and that's why I got upset because he was angry. Are you, and are you he was giving me. I'm just recording. I'm just recording. All right, I'm cool.